Josh. So there's a knock at the door. You answer it, and there's an entity there that you cannot comprehend. And just by trying to, you lose your mind. You know, there's so much in the world that I react to, so much darkness that comes, that, that touches me. If you were reading something like I'm walking through hell, like it's a day in the park, the reader's a little bit thrown, and I like that. <laughs> Horror for me is, is finding the light in the dark. So when I'm reading, I'm always looking for something original. When I'm writing, it, it has to be something that's never been done before, whether it's structurally or the story itself. I love all these different like genres. I, I like them just as much as anything else I watch. But horror is home. Well, in the beginning, for many years, there were no women. Hmm. There were very few women, very few blacks. I mean, less than a handful. But I had to write. I mean, what's more terrifying than you know a story about you know a world where we have to ban and then burn books on the streets? setting them on fire in their yard. That's censorship at its worst. I think it's natural to then look back and say, where are the breadcrumbs of a writer's life? You could play one note through all of Bird Box, mm -hmm. and that would be the right music for every scene. Wow. I am very used to writing the song. I feel like I wrote the song, and then Netflix and, and Sandra Bullock played the music. Is writing an uncurable disease of the mind? Madness and writers, the untold truth. Maybe.